Hello everybody, welcome to 48 Hours Football and welcome to What's He Doing Match Week 21. Burnley Luton. So yeah, as you can see, for me, this is Mengi that's done this. Amduni scored this from about eight yards away. Mengi's just not quite got his leg up, just got a, good, a little bit more, it's a little bit lazy from him. He needs to cut this pass out. If he throws his leg up, maybe it puts it off, maybe it sends it deflected, maybe it stops the goal going in, but it's lazy from him. Lazy, need to move on. Come on, what a sausage. The equaliser for this one came late. This was Morris on the header. And Trafford, what are you doing? What have you done? Hasn't even jumped. Has not even bothered to try and jump over everybody. That is what would have given him the foul. I mean, if he jumps, gets over it, oh, the ref probably gives the foul. But he, he just went, uh, and just, just lands straight into it. It's, come on, it's weak. He needs to do better. 1-1, one, one, lost his team those points. This is Chelsea versus Fulham. Big win for us. Not exactly how we'd like to go forward. The uh, uh, the performance was a little flat. The penalty was got by Raheem Sterling. All his little dinky feet paid off. It was a slight touch, but the ref saw it. No need for VAR. Straight away. Diop, what are you doing? Can't give away the pen. It's nice and easy at 48 hours football. If you give the pen, you are at fault. We move straight on. Now, this is a proper game of football. Man City, Newcastle. Big, big game for that top half sort of battle that's going on at the moment. Newcastle desperately trying to get up there. They almost managed to scrape some points out of this, but Man City brought back Kevin De Bruyne and Ra, what a difference he made. First goal, Bernardo Silva with that cheeky flick. Gotta love that. But for me, this is Dan Byrne. What's he doing? <laughs> he is 100 yards out of position again. The boy just doesn't want to be the left back. He just doesn't want to sit there and stay in position. He's so far out, and when this ball's whipped in, Bernardo Silva with the cheeky little, we call it a Janko Franco Zola, but I mean, it's been done by everybody. Ronaldo has done this, Zola done this, and now Silva's done it. It's just a great little finish, and it is quite embarrassing. So, sorry Newcastle. For all their quality though, City fell asleep and conceded two goals in two minutes. One from Isak and one from Gordon. Two goals that were basically identical, and they had the same for me, they had the same guy at fault, Kyle Walker, for all his pace, just doesn't cover either of these. He's tracking back with Isak and he tracks into Mark Gordon and they both do him the same way. Out swing curl, past the keeper on both times, even though the keeper was substituted for the second goal, did swing round, Edison was injured I think, and that swung round, both went in, both Kyle Walker. Kyle Walker's standards are normally so much higher than that. So it's a shame to see it come to this, but we know he'll bounce back, Man City, Come on, they went and stole the game anyway, so it didn't really matter. Kevin De Bruyne pulled through miraculously for Man City. To bring it equal to 2-2, he is so dangerously unmarked, I don't know why Newcastle bothered not marking him. That is so silly to not mark this man. He receives the ball midfield, runs forward about 10, 20 yards, and then straight through the only man that tried to stop him, Fabian Scher's legs. Um, I am going to give this a no-fault goal simply because it's Kevin De Bruyne. He's just come back from injury. This is a big ask from him. And on his four, first full game back, manages this. Fantastic. Assist in the last game as well where he was subbed on. But he does he get a goal. He gets an assist as well. And this pass. So a cheeky little pass from Kovacic straight to Kevin De Bruyne, who lofts a fantastic ball over to Oscar Bob, who is on fire at the moment. The little one-two he does with his feet to get it around the keeper, magnificent. However, for me, this has to be Trippier. Trippier is facing the correct way, as you can see, and he is looking straight down the line of his offensive trap, essentially, and he is the only one playing Oscar Bob onside. Oscar Bob's behind him, and Bob is reading him well to be able to move in there, and then Trippier can't reach. So, not for not trying to block it, he did throw everything he could into it. Oscar Bob is just a different level at the moment. His form is incredible. However, he should have stayed in line with Fabian Cher and all of the other defenders. He didn't. It's his fault. Lost his team those points. It's a shame to see it because Trippier is so good for Newcastle. He's been such a key signing for them over the last year and a half. But it is looking like he's costing them quite a bit because he's getting on this list quite a bit too often for a team of this standard. Out of Manchester United versus Tottenham. 2-2 and a happy result for us Chelsea fans and everyone else in the top eight. They're not going to run away and it's a tight battle up top at the moment. First goal for Manchester United. Hoyland, two goals, two Premier League games and in three minutes... The boy got straight on the score sheet, screamed it into the top left. Assist though, coming from Udogi, very unlucky for him. It is so unfortunate, but if it hits you, deflects, sits for their striker, and he then buries it in the top left bin, you got to go down as the sausage, my man. What are you doing? You can't really do a lot else there, man. Deflect it, try and get a bit more on it. That's it. Now, this second goal for me is a no-fault goal, and that's because Richarlison just gets up, gets his head on it. It's a great whip in. There is nothing anybody could do about this. Everyone was marked properly. 
it was just a complete scramble and complete and utter precision or luck, whatever you want to call it. It hit in Richarlison's head. Maybe took a little nick off Hoyland, but I'm not going to give it to him for this. He performed great today. Following up, Rashford took the lead again for Manchester United, finally netting at Old Trafford. Seems like ages since he's last done that. In order to do that, he had to absolutely twist up Pedro Porro, sending him on a little spin. Pedro didn't know where he was at the end. That equaliser for Tottenham, Ben Tanker with an absolute missile. And from what we can see in watching the match live, Evans just looks like he forgets where he's supposed to be or what he's supposed to be doing. He just sort of puts a little limp leg in the way, not like Trippier where he throws his whole body, but not quite like Mengi where he just doesn't do anything. He just sort of goes, oh, I should do it. But he doesn't get in the way enough. And this ball just goes plowed straight in the top corner, past Onana. At that sort of speed, you can't really get, and when the ball's here, you can't really get a hand to it without putting your face in the way. And instinctively, you're just going to try and move your head out of the way. So he tried to make himself as big as he could. But you can only do so much when the ball's being smashed at you from six yards away and your defender's sort of limp ankling it and not quite pulling his weight. Tune in again next week for when we put up the other half of this week's fixtures for match week 21. We're going to break down all the goals, all the highlights, just like we've done here. We're going to tell you who's to blame and who scored, keep you updated with everything Premier League. We've got lots of videos otherwise coming out and we're going to have the long-awaited list to see who ranks highest in what's he doing What's he done for 48 hours football? Peace.